I was awakened by the most horrible, horrific scream I'd ever heard come out of anyone's mouth. And I jumped out of bed and ran to find out who was attacking my wife, and she was sliding down the wall saying, Jesse's dead. Life takes on a different meaning when your child is murdered. Well, there is no healing, it just changes. If you can find any meaning at all. I'm here today, and I'm, I'm working because my daughter would want me to continue to live and to find as much joy in the life that I have left. In the nearly 10 years since Jessica Gowie was killed at an Aurora movie theater, her parents focused their energy on supporting other survivors. In the 10 years since Jessica's death, this country has produced many. It's brutal. It changes their entire life. They were there to hold their hands and their broken hearts with them and um, help them to move forward in the healthiest way possible. Sandy and Lonnie Phillips were in Buffalo trying to help families in the days after the grocery store shooting when they heard the news about Uvalde. Now they're heading to Texas. We try to protect them as best we can um, and, and prepare them for the immediate future and and the long-term future. And, uh, you know, that's all we can do. There'll always be survivor's guilt. Columbine's former principal, Frank DeAngelis, has lived the last 23 years honoring the 12 kids and a teacher he lost. He has a sense where the Uvalde community may be right now. They feel their lives are out of control. I mean, they sent their kids to school yesterday morning and those kids are not coming back home and they had no control over that. And so right now they're at that stage of mourning and disbelief. But when they're ready, Frank says he's just a phone call away to hopefully help them find meaning in life again, even if it may feel impossible now. And they do not have to travel that journey alone. With Byron Reed in Denver, I'm Anastasia Bolton.